Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Bosch Dishwasher Upper Dish Rack Rail Repair Kit. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at ApplianceParts.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new Upper Dish Rack Rail Repair Kit. The Upper Dish Rack Rail Repair Kit contains all the parts needed to replace the Upper Dish Rack Rail Rollers. The maintainers will be changing it out, so if it's damaged and the Upper Dish Rack's not rolling in and out properly. In order to change the part, we have to pull the dishwasher out of the cabinets. First thing we're going to do is go under the sink and disconnect the lines. Now that we're underneath the cabinets, you want to make sure that the dishwasher is still unplugged and you may want to throw a towel down. When we take off the fill line and the drain hose, there's going to be some water that comes out. First, we're going to disconnect the fill line. It's connected right here to the hot water valve. You want to make sure the water valve is off. And then we're going to use our 5 8 inch wrench to loosen up the hose. Once you have it broke free, you can just reach in and unscrew it by hand. Once you have it off, you can just set it down and then we can take off the drain hose. To take the drain hose off, you just want to follow it up to wherever it goes. It may go to the garbage disposal. Ours goes up to the air gap. Once you locate the end of it, we're going to take a 5 16 nut driver and loosen up the clamp. Once you have the clamp loose, you can pull it free and set it down. Once you have the lines disconnected, we're going to open up the dishwasher door and we're going to pull out the upper rack. All you have to do is pull it out all the way until it hits the end caps and then we're going to lift up on it and pull it out the rest of the way. Once you have it off, you can set it aside. Once you have the rack out of the way, we can reach in and take the end caps off the back of the rails. To get the end cap off, we're just going to grab the top and rotate it towards the center of the dishwasher. Then you can take the bottom half off. Once you have the end cap off, you can pull that and the rail out of the dishwasher. This side comes out the same way. Now the way the rail's out, we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws that hold the dishwasher to the countertop. Once you have the screws out, we're going to lift up on the door and use it to carefully pull the dishwasher out of the cabinets. Once you have it started, we can grab the frame and pull it out the rest of the way. Once you have it out, you have to look at your dishwasher and see if you have any insulation on here. If you do, you have to take it off. Once you have it off, we're going to push the back end of the dishwasher underneath the countertop so the dishwasher doesn't fall forward when we open the door. Once you have it pushed in, we're going to open up the dishwasher door. And we're going to reach in and hold on to the axle and the roller. Then we can use the Torque 20 driver to take out the screw from the outside. This side comes off the same way. Here are the old upper dish rack rail parts next to the new upper dish rack rail repair kit. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Before you put the axles on, we have to put the wheels on. All you have to do is slide it on like that. And then we have to line up the axle into the opening in the tank. Once you have it lined up, you can use the Torque 20 driver to put the screw in from the back side.
Now we're going to lift up on the door and use it to carefully pull the dishwasher out the rest of the way. Once you have it out, you can close the door and then put your insulation back on if you have it. And then we can push the dishwasher back into the cabinets. Now we have to reach underneath and put the lines through the cabinets. We want to push the dishwasher in about halfway. Then we can go underneath the sink and pull on the lines to make sure they're not caught on anything. Then we can push the dishwasher in the rest of the way. Now we can reconnect the drain hose to the air gap. Once you have it pushed up into place, we're going to use our 5 16 inch nut driver to tighten down the clamp. Once you have the drain line hooked up, we can hook up the water line. All you have to do is get it started by hand. Once you have it snug, we can reach in with our 5 8 inch wrench to tighten it down so it doesn't leak. Now that we have the lines reconnected, we can open up the dishwasher door, use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws, and roll the dishwasher to the countertop. Once you have the screws in, we can put the rails back in. When you put the rails back on, you want to make sure you get them on the right side. You want to make sure that the end cap points to the up position. And you can slide the rail back onto the rollers. Once you have it past the second roller, you can reach in and put the end cap on. I'm just going to snap it in on the bottom and rotate it up. Once you have this side in, we can do the one on the other side. Once you have the end cap on, we can put the dish rack back in. To put it in, all you have to do is line the upper dish rack up on the rails at an angle so that the rear wheels go onto the rails. Once you have the rear ones on, you can drop it down a little bit and push it in. You're going to have to lift up a little bit so it goes onto the front wheel. Once you have both sides in, you can push the rack all the way in. Close the dishwasher door, then we can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair, brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.